Welcome to the art room. My name is Mrs. Desmond and I am going to be your art teacher this year. Go ahead and take a look around the room. More importantly, go ahead and look up to the ceiling and above you are going to see a paintbrush. That color of the paintbrush will be your table color. It will be where you sit every week when you come in. While you are looking up, go ahead and admire the paintings that you see on the ceiling tiles. Aren't they gorgeous? Those were done by my middle school students a few years ago, and when you are in middle school, you too will be able to paint a ceiling tile. Now go ahead and take a look at the front of the room. All of those posters that you see on the wall have numbers, and those numbers are very important because every once in a while I might say, boys and girls, go ahead and take a look at number eight. Today we're gonna talk about my favorite artist, Vincent Van Gogh. So those numbers are gonna be really important. The bulletin board behind you is going to display the color wheel. The color wheel is very important and it is how the colors are organized. On that wall, you're also going to see different color families that we will learn about. This right here, you will hear me say a lot. Draw light until you get it right. Another thing you're gonna hear me talk about a lot is the value scale or value, showing value. Value is the lightness or darkness of a color. I'm always gonna ask you to show value. Next are the elements of art. This is kind of like the ingredients that you need to create a work of art. You will see line, form, value, texture, color, space, and shape. The next set of cards are the elements of design. This is the steps that you need to use your ingredients to create your art. Balance, movement, rhythm, contrast, emphasis, pattern, and unity. Over here in the back corner, you are going to see a painting rack, a drying rack. When we paint, this is where we will put our wet paintings so that our paintings do not stick together. This will protect our artwork from getting stuck to another student's artwork. Under the windows, you're going to see my library of books. I have tons of books, how to draw books, books about how to draw cars, how to draw animals, how to draw people, and there's also going to be books on famous artists. You will be able to use these freely whenever you have free draw time. You will have free draw time in your sketchbook when you have finished early. If you finish early, then you can finish a page in your sketchbook, draw from observation, draw from instruction, or draw from your imagination. In the art room, we have one sink in the back of the room and I have a mechanical pencil sharpener. Please make sure to not sharpen any pencils that are smaller than the one you see there. Otherwise, it will break the machine. You will also find any other art materials that you may need like pencils and erasers, glue, rulers, markers, scissors, and boxes of crayons. And this is the selfie wall. If you take a picture of yourself with any artwork that you have created, please bring it in so that we can display it for everyone to see. These are the art materials that you will need to bring to every class. The only difference is middle school will be required to have a sketchbook. Elementary school will not be required to bring in a sketchbook. Next to the door, you will find the bulletin board labeled Art News. This is where I will post any reminders. Make sure to read them every day you come in and before you walk out. There is also a back door with my favorite person in the world, the Mona Lisa. We will not be using that door. We will always be entering and exiting through this door. And to the side is the fire exit map. And lastly, I want you to remember never settle for less than your best.